We often hear about the bond among veterans. Tonight, an example of that brotherhood in the bloodline of one military family. A decorated Marine general photographed with presidents of America, Great Britain, and Afghanistan is partial to memorable snapshots with his boys. Hey, yes. Listen up. <laughs> this father and, and his two sons shared 10 combat deployments during a 10 year stretch. The Nicholson men are a picture of the modern American military family. Between 2000 and and, and five and, and 2015, uh, I don't think there was a year where one of us wasn't either in Iraq or Afghanistan. I did uh, two years in Iraq, two years in Afghanistan, and my, my sons uh, each did uh, time in both Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, so they had three tours apiece. Is your story of service and family tradition, if you will, in the Marine Corps unusual? It is not. Uh, I, I would tell you that I have, I have many peers. Uh, I can't tell you how many, uh, whether they're sergeants major, senior enlisted, or officer, uh, their, their sons and daughters. Uh, there is a tradition uh, of, of service in these military families uh, that, that is ongoing, and uh, we're very proud of that service. During one combat tour, Larry served alongside son Kevin in Afghanistan and on another tour was leading Marines in Iraq, including son Andrew. You know, in, in all fairness, I, I probably saw him three times during that six month period. Uh, but I think for my wife, uh, it was, you know, for Debbie, it was kind of a sense that uh, even though it was unrealistic, that I, I could take care of him and, and somehow. Forgive my ignorance, but when he comes up to you, does he say, hey, Colonel, or does he say, hey, Dad? <laughs> it, it depends who's around. <laughs> if, it, if, if it's just one-on-one, -on -one, it, it's, hey, Dad, you know, what are you doing? That was, you know, boy, that was a bad call. Why'd you do this? Or, or you know, um, if he's around other people, it was, you know, it was, I was the Colonel. That was a defining moment in his career, but so was September 14, 2004. I got hit by a rocket. <laughs> I, I got hit by uh, a 122, pieces of a 122 hit me and, and unfortunately killed, uh, you know, an, an incredible Marine uh, that was uh, really right next to me. And so we lost, uh, we lost an incredible officer that day. Uh, I pretty much woke up in Germany. Recovering in a hospital, Larry Nicholson saw a picture of his fellow Marine and friend flash across the television screen. At that point, it, it, it kind of dawned on me that there was only one reason his picture's on CNN. And, and then it all kind of came flooding back to me that he and I had been uh, together uh, when, uh, when we got hit. So that was a, a pretty surreal moment. Wounded in September, this Marine commander was back in the fight in Iraq by Christmas. Patch me up and get me back in there because my team needs me. And I, I think that is instilled in all of us, uh, you know, early on in, in our careers that Boy, you're part of a team. That, that team functions best when you're there. And, and uh, you know, you want to do everything you can to, to stay with that team. Lieutenant General Larry Nicholson stayed in military service for 39 years. Son Andrew is nearing 20 and Kevin 15. But what can people say or do to show their appreciation on a day like Veterans Day for men like you and, and others who have served this country? John, you know, for the last you know, 20 years, wherever you go, people say, hey, thank you for your service. And, and I, I think that's important. I, I, think, I think veterans uh, across the board uh, uh, appreciate that but I think more importantly I, I think for Americans that, that are not connected to our military have, have no connection to family members or, or close friends I, I think the realization of Veterans Day Memorial Day they're more than just shopping days you know they're, they're more than than sales and weekends and, and barbecues that, I think that the, the time to think through and and, and acknowledge the incredible uh, sacrifice right uh, that uh, that the people that wear the cloth of our nation make on behalf of this nation. I think the acknowledgement and the time that, that people take to think about that, uh, I think is, uh, is really important. Th those are special days to us.
The general explains who was the most influential person in his life in the service and sacrifice section of our website. That is also where you can read his letter to fellow Marines about the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan in August.